2.5 billion people, mostly women, mostly young people, live in an economy where cash is king. They are much more subject to criminal activity. They are much more subject to operating in what we call a shadow economy. And they don't enjoy the same benefits and protections um, of those that operate with traditional bank accounts or traditional forms of financial services, the security that comes with that. There's an inherent uh, mistrust, I think, between uh, the companies that are doing business right now some, and, and the people that actually are our customers. If you have a social welfare program or social subsidy program, usually uh, governments in the past have been doing it by paper or some other form of distribution. If you have um, international development agency like a refugee organization, most of the time refugees are given paper to go and use their chits to get water and supplies and things like that. What we are helping governments and what we're helping international and development organizations do is electronify that entire process and therefore get rid of the corruption that potentially can occur and the crime that can potentially occur inside those processes. So we have the government work, we have the international development work, and now we have this new research piece and this philanthropic piece that underpins both. So it's a really nice way to um, complement the goals of the company um, and the momentum that we currently have around this corporate priority called financial inclusion.